What is up? Welcome back to another episode of Empire Radio here on YouTube. Now, as you guys can tell by the title, the thumbnail video, this is a toy unboxing video. Now, if you guys are excited like me, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys picked up these figures or not. Are you guys passing it due to the price, due to the figure quality, due to not being able to see them. And I'm going to get all in that, so let's quickly... Get into this unboxing. Let's go. I'm not even going to dual screen this video or anything. I'm, we're just going to dive into it. So, with that being said, we are unboxing the Cobb Vamp and the Cad Bane dual pack Boba F Book of Boba Fett figure. Now, this is my thing with this. There's two of them. Kind of cool. It was pushing, almost pushing 60 bucks for two figures, which is kind of crazy, in my opinion. Toys are getting ridiculous, you guys. And, like, for collectors like me, it is it is kind of rough. And even for a parent like me, it's rough. Like, just typical, normal toys for my kid. Like, I'm like, dude, why are we spending 25 bucks on, like, two little tiny things? Like, two sharks or whatever, whatever my kid's in. It's just, it's just becoming a lot right now. Um, and, I mean, that's with everything, but it's you're seeing toys that should be flying off the shelf, especially during the COVID time, and they're sitting there forever. Like, I know this one was a little bit hard to find in the beginning, but now it's I haven't gotten a Target in the last, what, three weeks and not seen at least one, if not five, of these guys. And the Luke and Grogu one, that one's going to be on there for a while. And I think part of it... Um, I don't want to rant about too much, but are they in there? I hope so. Exactly. There's no plastic. I don't know the quality of these figures. I just grabbed a box. As you guys can tell, it's fully taped. It looks like anyways. It doesn't seem damn like open or anything. I grabbed one a couple of far back just to double check. This is my first figure, I believe. On the Black Series lines, that doesn't have a plastic front. So, without further ado, let's open her up and make sure she's actually in there, right? So, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's just go from the top. Starting from the top. So, Cod Vamp, honestly, you guys can comment down below. It's not my favorite figure or character and. Boba Fett series at all, honestly. I know there's going to be some hate comments. Or, or even the Mandal series. He's just alright to me. I don't know. Comment down below what you guys feel about that character. Not really like my favorite character, I don't think. In Star Wars really at all. But Cad Bane, that's the figure I really want out of this pack. So, Alright, so as you guys can tell, there's like plastic wrap. I don't know. I've never, like I said, I've never opened any of these. I'm gonna gr just take it out. Yeah, see, this is not it. I mean, box is empty. It comes like two mummified figures. Kind of weird. Um, the what? Oh, uh, you guys, what is? They're expecting us to pay so much for all these figures, but the quality of the boxes they gotta go back to what they're doing before if they wanted people to keep buying like look i'm supposed to try to figure out whose weapon goes with who like what is this mess like you guys can kind of see it like what are we doing here okay all right so there's two mummified characters at least like these wrapping, if you guys, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. Hopefully, lighting, focus camera. There's little Star Wars. Yeah, there it is. It says Star Wars writing right there. A little bit. And hopefully, you guys are clicking on this video because you guys haven't got these yet, or you guys are hesitant, and you guys want to know. Um, if you guys are new to Empire Radio, we are Star Wars Podcast First, a YouTube channel second, which means we've been doing podcasts, Star Wars content for a very long time before we started YouTube. So, yeah. 
And it's it's just one of those fun things. We started doing YouTube afterwards, and we love it. So if you guys are new and you guys love Star Wars, make sure you guys subscribe. All right, so I don't know who this is that we're unboxing first, but I guess we'll see together. La, 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 la. All right, Cobb Vamp. So face sculpt, not bad. Clothing, pretty good. I like it. Might take this off and just put on a different character, maybe. He gets one gun. Apparently, got to figure out which one. But he gets one gun. Um, yeah, not bad. Joints are a little stiff. Um, actually, kind of really stiff. The face sculpt, though, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Come on, camera, focus. Oh, no. Hello there. Hello there. Okay. There it is. Not mad at the face sculpt at all. I think it's really clean, really solid face sculpt. So, there he is. Put him down for now. Focus, focus, camera, focus. Here comes. All right, and like I said before, you guys might be able to tell. It says Star Wars. Thin writing. So, I don't. I think this one's safe to say that no one tampered with this one. I feel like it kind of, with this style of packaging, kind of makes it hard to resell, too. So, if you're, like, you want to open it and then, like, reseal it, I don't think these are... I know a lot of people that do that. I'm one of them sometimes. Like, if I open a figure, a Black Series figure, and I love it, or I don't like it, then I'll just put it right back in the box because I save all the boxes. All right, well, this is the one... That I'm here for. So. Let's see how he looks. First off. Sick as heck. Got the dent. He looks really clean. The color is darker than I think. Um, I'll grab my um clone, clone trooper one. My clone wars one. And compare them. But his face sculpt is not bad. I just, I don't. Is it just me or the color on this is super sparkly and dark blue? I don't recall that being like that. Like it's pretty blue. I don't know. Comment down below if that's normal or that's just this guy. So. Other than that, though, his outfit's pretty sick, pretty fire. Really happy with it. Even, like, this, the way his jacket is set, it kind of, like, goes to the side like this, on this side. Like, it's plastic, like rubber. It's not, like, a, a cloth, but it kind of has this flow around his gun, so you can do, like, a, a draw pose. That's pretty sweet. I like that. That's dope. All right, let's get to these weapons. All right, so you got uh, one gun and a hat in one. It's like opening up medicine, dude. Yeah. So weird. Well, there's the Haiti hat. Hat. Kind of wish it was a little bigger. It'll do. It'll do. Looks sick. There's the hat. And then... I believe this gun that's in this first pack actually goes... Yeah, it goes to Cobb Vamp. Hard to check again. Can't know. I believe this is his. Yep. Fits in his hilt perfectly. So... Cobb Vamp literally got nothing but a gun, and that's it. Let's 
kind of interesting. So we'll show him off completely with a gun in his hilt. That's the Cobb Vamp character figure. You got the gun in the hilt. The face sculpt, like I said, is pretty nice. But then besides that, his outfit's really cool. But that's it. This is an easy cosplay if you guys want to do that at some con. Just grow your beard out. Get some gray hair. Just dress up like a cowboy, essentially. And get a gun on your hip. So. All right, there's Cobb. Bam. And then you get, for him, you get... Oh, this is... You get more with him. You get a... Well, well, we'll just open the medicine bag. All right, so you get three different sets. You get this one. Flame. Okay. Just dump out the other ones. You get two more guns and two more flames. But they're littler. A lot littler. You get two guns. Kabam! Two little guns like this. Pretty cool. And then two flames to go on the end of them. Little. So. Probably pose him with both guns in his hand. His fingers are huge compared to the gun. Look at his fingers. Super big. <laughs> I honestly don't know what this flame is for. I'll have to look at the pictures and see. Maybe it goes on COD. That's kind of cool. Alright, so this is him with both the flames coming out. The gun. Pretty cool. Let me look at the image on the back that it tells me nothing. What is the flame for, you guys? What's the big flame for? What is this for? It doesn't go on Cobb Bam's gun, I don't believe. Nope. What the heck is this for? Comment down below. What is this for? What is this giant thing for? What are you supposed to do with it? Dude, there's nothing to do with it. Okay, well. All right. That's weird. But. All right. So I'm actually going to put. All right. Cobb the vamp. Vamp. Whatever. With his gun. Cad Bane looks so good with the hat. Do this quick for now. Kabam. Looks good. I took one of the flames out. I'll have to work on the figure a little bit. Um, because he's kind of stiff for now. But let me show you guys the Clone Wars one. This is a Clone Wars one. He has a really big hump hat. His things are silver, not dark blue. He has two guns, and then he has the rockets on his feet. The live action, and then look at his face sculpt. And then compared to the live action one. Yeah, 
you don't get those cool things on his feet. The outfits are pretty similar, but not really. I don't know. Comment down below which one you guys prefer. Clone Wars? Live action. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of about these figures. And really, honestly, tell me what this is for. I would like to know because I have no idea what this is for. It doesn't even tell you. And I'm not going to read the little thing because if it does there, that's kind of lame. But all right. Y'all have a wonderful day. Like I said, if you guys are new to Empire Radio, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that subscribe button over here at Empire Radio. Go check out all of our other content, our live show on twitch.tv slash Empire Radio Weekly for the podcast, all that fun stuff. Y'all have a wonderful day. May the force be with you, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.